Lake Waccamaw, North Carolina, a geological mystery. Lake Waccamaw is located in the southeast part of North Carolina, United States of America. Lake Waccamaw is the largest Carolina Bay. Carolina Bays are oval-shaped depressions on a northwest to southeast axis whose origins are still unknown to this day. Check out the previous video I did on Carolina Bays, link in the description. They are called bays due to the sweet and red bay trees that are found along the rims of the Carolina Bays. Theories of the origins of the Carolina Bays, including Lake Waccamaw, but are not conclusive, are Number 1. Exploding Comet, but not meteor due to the lack of meteoric material. Number 2. Receding Ocean, due to the Waccamaw and Cane Patch crustal uplift over 75,000 years ago, but waves also carved them out. Number 3. The least likely, Springs. But number 4 is the most likely explanation for the formation of the Carolina Bays and Lake Waccamaw, which is pools that are formed and left over from receding glaciers, and the winds that blow in from the west deposited sand on the southeast rim of each Carolina Bay. This explains why the southeast section of each Carolina Bay has a high rim, but no rim on the northwest part. Lake Waccamaw is located in the southeastern portion of the United States in the southeastern section of North Carolina. The lake is about five miles long by about three and a half miles wide. Now a little farther to the northwest, you can actually see the other Carolina Bays and they're all lined from the southeast to the northwest. Only a handful of the Carolina Bays are lakes. The rest of them are actually filled in. Lake Waccamaw is also the name of a small town on the northern part of the lake, with the road going practically almost all the way around the lake, except for the southern end of the lake. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the town of Waccamaw, and we're gonna make our way around to the west side of the lake. About 75% of the lake shore of Lake Waccamaw is inhabited. However, the southern part of the lake is not inhabited due to the fact that it lies inside the Lake Waccamaw State Park. If you are in this area, Lake Waccamaw is well worth a visit because it is fascinating and a mystery on how this lake was formed. Nobody knows for sure exactly how this lake was formed. Basically, like I said before, there are actually four theories on how this lake was formed. In fact, the Native American tribe, the Waccamaw, were also called the people of the falling star, which may give us kind of a hint on how Lake Waccamaw was formed. But the most plausible theory is that it was formed by receding glaciers after the ice age. That drapery on that cypress tree right there is called Spanish moss. Cypress trees also line the shores of Lake Waccamaw. Also, you'll see some palm trees that also line the shore. This is the northwest end of Lake Waccamaw. As you can see, there is no raised rim. In fact, this is typical of all Carolina Bays, including Lake Waccamaw, that the fact that there are no raised rims on the northwest part of the Carolina Bays, however, there are raised rims on the southeast part of the Carolina Bays. Here at the end of the road, there's a boardwalk and a dam on the southwest shore of Lake Waccamaw. Now, 
Now here you can see more cypress trees with Spanish moss all over them. These trees have no problem growing in the water. In fact, you can see many of them over here growing in the water and you can see the roots at the very bottom of them. Now, let's go all the way around the lake and head to the southeast part of the lake and stop at Lake Waccamaw State Park. Here, we arrived at the boardwalk on the southeast shore of Lake Waccamaw inside Lake Waccamaw State Park. In fact, the lake is very shallow all around. It's only 7.5 feet deep, or about 2 meters deep, at its deepest point. At about 100 meters away from the shore, the water here is about a meter deep. A seagull sitting on a pole. Here is what the raised rim looks like on the southeast shore of Lake Waccamaw. The rim is about 2 to 3 meters or about 7 to 10 feet above the lake surface. The height of the rim gets less and less the farther north you go. The raised rims that you see right here is only found on the southeast part of the lake, which is typical of all Carolina bays. The raised rims are found on the southeast part of the Carolina bays. So let's take a walk over there and check out the raised rim. There is a trail that runs along the southeast part of Lake Waccamaw, and it's on top of the sandy rim. Again, the top of the rim is about one to two meters above the surface of the lake. Here, the trail is on top of the rim, and it actually slopes on both sides of the trail. Now here you can actually see a cross section of the raised rim. <laughs> 